Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, you will see how we can create a scatter chart in Power BI, which is used to show relationship between two numerical values. And then you can add optionally enhance it with a third dimension, like you can say category uh, or a fourth one with like colors or legends, and even a fifth one with time like year. We already have this data here. You see the category, we have product, we have region, sales, profit, market share, year and the notes. We will be using this data. Now let's go ahead and create our scatter plot. So first I'll go here and select scatter chart. We have this here. Now these are the values or the fields that we have to populate in the values. I will bring the category. In the X axis, I will bring sales. Let's just remove it this from here. In the Y axis, I will bring profit and you will start seeing how it's populating. Now we can have uh, legends in any form. I will show you, for example, if I bring year here, you will see that for each year, I'm getting these values for furniture. You can see it's 2023 and 2022. I will bring product. So in the product, you can see that it is like this. You can see different products and the uh, accordingly there sales and profit in the size let's uh, because right now you see all the sizes are same but we want to show it as market share so now you will see that each bubble size has changed accordingly let me just change this here also in the play axis you uh, will bring the year and you see here now we have the play axis we have two years 2023 and 2022 and if i click on play you will see how it moves according to the year in 2022 where it was and where it is in 2023 now this is our basic scatter plot that has been created you can use it for powerful comparative trend analysis and it will help you identify trends outliers segments now let's see further how we can format it i'll go to format your visual in the x-axis we have these options you can select the range if you want i will leave that in the values you can decide how it will look let's just make it a little bold title if you want to have one if i remove it you will see the sales is gone but we will keep the title similarly in y-axis it's the same in the values we will just make it a little bold title we will keep let's just do this in the legends where you want to the legends to see how it will be like if you want to remove the title so here are the title is the title the product we can just remove it now zoom slider if you want to have a zoom slider it will be switched on and you can see how it will work here i'll just remove this in the markers you can define the markers let's say if you want to have it in a different type you can select it from here you can select the size the shape the color also border and all these now you can also have a category label if i select it you can see the category label is now visible and it makes it more readable in the generals it's the same i will just remove the title because it's becoming messier and uh, it's like any uh, f you know how you format any of the power bi visual we have done that in our previous videos also in the effects you can have a background i'll just remove the background i want a visual border like always you can with the width pixels and we will add a shadow to it now header icons tooltips how you want to keep it let's just come back so i was talking about how we can have optionally we have options of adding the size the play axis i will just remove the play axis here and you will see how it looks so this is how we have created and it's pretty simple to create a scatter plot in power bi uh, number of use cases you can use it for sales performance you can use this for customer segmentation uh, marketing campaign effectiveness and for hr you can use for employee uh, relationship data so this is how you can use your scatter plot i hope this video helped keep watching for more and don't forget to subscribe thank you